I usually use pretty much all vintage stuff, but this is a newer microphone made by Upton. It's a kind of a copy of a 251. And it's just a beautiful sounding microphone. It captures low end from a distance. So it's really amazing to me what, how it picks up drums and it's a little bit smoother on the top. It's a tube microphone. So I like what it does to the cymbals and how it just reacts to the transients. So I've been using this a lot on overhead. I usually kind of jump between this and a U67 are my kind of first ones to go to. Similar reasons for the U67. I like the smoothness on the cymbals and how it picks up drums from kind of afar. Although I will say that as you're about to see, I kind of mic drums way closer than most people do. What I'll do is I'll kind of get these somewhat close and then I always wait till the drummer's in here because I like to put the overhead mic pretty much right in their face. And Ken, once again, this drummer Ken is, is one of my favorite drummers of all time and I get to work with him a lot. And I know that he's not gonna hit that hard and I also know that I can do this without losing a microphone to a big drum hit. Knock on wood, then that happened today. Ken is a fantastic drummer who I've used quite a bit and me and him both like kind of simple kits, not a lot of cymbals and just kind of keeping it old school. And um, he does not hit hard, which is a big plus for me when he, he hits hard when you need him to, but he hits quiet. When, when drums are hit quiet to me, they sound better. You don't have so much attack, you get more of the overtones in the note. And it, it just sounds huge to me. And it can still be aggressive, it can still be big sounding while hit quietly. And he also doesn't flail around, so I can get around with, this is a little bit lower than what I'll do. When he gets in here, I kind of move it to where his forehead is. This is in cardioid, and with Ken, Ken's such a balanced drummer, he knows he balances himself volume wise, so I can really get away with this kind of setup. And I like for this mic to kind of get this whole area, it'll get the hi-hats, it'll get the snare, it'll get the rack tom, and then that, usually the ride cymbal cuts through the most of anything, so it being kind of off, off the mic helps it kind of sit more in the mix and balance itself in. Where when he, if I had the overhead more in the middle, if he really rocks the ride, it might overpower the rest of the kit. And depending on how it sounds in there, I will move this mic more to the center, more to the right, if I need more hi-hat or if I need more ride or more floor tom the overhead mic actually becomes those things, or just even tilting it, so to speak, will get me more of the balance I want. Kenny, could you hit some drums for me, the whole kit? You got it. <laughs> 